left ventricular aneurysm is one of the cause of ST elevation. It is seen as a persistent ST elevation post-acute MI. Two weeks post-MI, the ST segment should return to baseline. Usually, the Q waves persist and the T wave becomes flat or inverted. However, ST elevation persists in 60% of anterior STEMI and 5% of inferior STEMI. Possibly because of incomplete reperfusion and scar formation. Echo usually shows paradoxical movement of the ventricle wall. What are the ECG features of LV aneurysm? You see ST elevation two weeks after MI, most commonly in precordial leads. You see both concave or convex morphology associated with Q or QS waves. T wave has smaller amplitude compared to QRS complex. In STEMI, you, you see more hyperacute T waves. These features has sensitivity of 38% and specificity of 84% for ventricular aneurysm. What are the significance of LV aneurysm? It increased the risk of ventricular arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death. Increase the risk of congestive cardiac failure and it may cause mural thrombus and subsequent embolization. LV aneurysm is caused by acute MI, cardiomyopathy, cardiac infection, and congenital abnormalities. Factors favoring left ventricular aneurysm is used similar to the previous one. No dynamic ST changes, absence of reciprocal ST depression, Q waves. Factors favoring acute STEMI. New ST changes, dynamic ECG changes, reciprocal ST depression, and high clinical suspicion of MI. Ratio of T waves to QRS complex amplitude. This can be used to differentiate LV aneurysm from acute STEMI. Ratio less than 0 0.36 favors LV aneurysm in all leads. Ratio of more than 0 0.36 in any lead favors anterior STEMI.